I became sort of like the hockey guy to people. Yes. And that's was how I how I made friends. That was how I um I just it's it was because it was it was a way to have conversations. It was a way to talk to people, and and that was just how that's what got me into hockey was it was the way I was I was able to connect with anybody. I am currently a uh, just about I'm, I literally graduate tomorrow from congratulations uh, from the sport media program at Ryerson, and then in the fall I'm heading to the uh, Masters of Journalism program up in up in Ottawa at Carleton, and then otherwise I am. Uh, the senior writer at 49 Sport, which is the largest uh, site covering university sports in all of Canada. Um, I have previously worked for the Guelph Storm Hockey Club. I've worked for the uh, for my, her, the, the university paper at Ryerson, the Eye Opener, um, and and yeah, I, I I hockey has been my life for since as far back as I can remember, and that's what I've been what I've been doing for the last half decade of, of my professional life, I guess you could call it. And then what I want to do for the rest of my life. How did Richard get into hockey? So I got into hockey because, and I wrote, and I, and I wrote about this in, in the thing in March as well. I, because I, I have, um, I'm autistic. And what, when I, what I, what I, uh, when I was younger, one of the, one of the best ways I was taught to how to uh, make friends, how to connect with people, how to, because you, because I actually have to learn how to do that, like in a classroom setting for the most part, uh, is to uh, have common interests. Is what, they, is what they, how they sort of look at it. Like if you if you have something you can relate to somebody else with, you have something you can connect with them with, and so on and so on. So for me, I saw all these people around me obsessed with obsessed with hockey. It was the mid two thousands. Crosby was just getting started. Ovechkin was just getting started. Everyone around me was huge. Nobody was Leafs fans, but everyone else was around me was huge um, hockey fans in, in in every regard. So I so that was what I decided to do. I decided if I could get into hockey and be like, and just basically if I could get into hockey, I could find a way to make friends. I could find a way to connect with people, and that's what I did. Really, I start. I I threw myself into studying it. I, I threw myself into learning about every single piece of hockey history I could follow. I eventually got on the ice, but I was never very good. Um, but I just put every single part of me into understanding and following hockey because that became, I became sort of like the hockey guy to people. Yes. And that's was how I, how I made friends. That was how I, um, I just, it's it was because it was it was a way to have conversations. It was a way to talk to people, and and that was just how that's what got me into hockey. Was it was the way I was I was able to connect with anybody. Well, thank you for sharing so much about yourself. I think, you know, um, it's brave, and thank you. It's really important, and people are going to see this and 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 see you and relate to that. So thank you. Um, I'm still I'm still learning what 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 like wanting to speak out about any of this stuff means, but I just know I, I, I'm finally comfortable doing that. So I want to do it, whatever that means. I love that. Um, what do you love about hockey? Yeah, I love just the like for a while it was the intricacy of it. There was something for, for it was it was uh, I loved I loved studying and I, I don't do it as much anymore, but I love studying literally every single play, how, pl how plays could start, how plays could be designed. I loved all that. Um, I love just, I, and it goes back to my previous point. I, what I really love was how it brought people together and it yes. brought me to so many other people. That's what, that, that's what the biggest thing was for, what it was for me. It was just, it was the, it was the community aspect of it. Whether I was, whether I was at, uh, Air Canada Center among 20,000 other people, whether I was at my local rink watching my brother and eventually playing myself, it was, that's the biggest thing for me. Cause it, cause I didn't have that in a lot of places. I didn't yeah. understand how to get that. So having that there was, was, that's what I loved the most about it. And what I still do love the most about it. I think. I like that. How could hockey be better for you as an individual with your, you know, intersection of, 
identities and um, also for the queer community? I think, I think it's just the work that, that, that that's been, that this is trying to do, but and that every, that um, work, that this, work that this is trying to do to, to humanize all of these different stories, because I didn't understand when I, when I was, when I was in the closet, I didn't understand, I didn't know of a, uh, a, a gay person in hockey in any capacity, let alone mm -hmm. someone on the ice. So these, uh, just, it's helping people understand helping helping um uh, queer individuals understand that, that that there's people out there such as yourself such as everyone you're trying to do to talk to you for this pro for this program and then for everyone else it's just i don't want to believe everyone like, i don't want to believe people can't can't change i, I want to believe people a lot of people don't don't realize what they're doing is wrong and then what and they have the ability to if they understand or if they've given the means to understand, they have the ability to change. So, I so I've, a lot of it is just helping people understand, because I because I, there's a lot of people like even like I said like myself like people I, I people I know who just didn't understand what they were doing was wrong for so long, and I had people I had people talk to me and basically be like I'm sorry I've I've said terrible things to people in my life and and I and maybe not directly to me but people I know and they and they and they, and they knowing that I was finally out they just like they felt terrible about it. So if a lot of people is they don't necessarily realize even inherently what they're doing is wrong. So it's just humanizing and helping people understand, I think. I agree wholeheartedly. Um, I live by the belief that um, most people are good. Uh, people are good by nature and um, uh, we just have to show them how to be. So completely agree with you. It's too cynical to, to I think, to, to, to not want to believe that everybody has the ability to change at the very yeah. minimum. So knowing what you know about the culture and where it's at, what keeps you in hockey? Well, at this point in my life, I want to help. I want, I want to help make, make it better for, for people coming after me, like whatever that means. I, I, I only started doing this in the last year, this, this level of, so to speak, like I was, I came out in 2018 and then for about a year, year and a half i was relatively just i just lived my life i was very quiet i didn't really say i was i wasn't necessarily i was out i wasn't necessarily open about being out in hockey you know, you know, you know what i'm trying to say mm -hmm. but like i was but I, it was back in um uh july of 2020 i was reached out to by uh jim Bazinski of outsports because i had talked I, I had commented on a on a on a, on a separate thing they, they they published and then he he got to chat and he'd seen i had the i had the flag in my in my twitter bio and he, so we got to chatting and basically came around to uh uh i he realized i was out and he was like and basically was like do you have a story and i never really thought of that at that point and then i did and then so i tried it i wrote uh, a story back in july and they published it on out sports and then i got a uh i got an email from uh uh after it was published from Dale Scott, the former MLB umpire, mm -hmm. who also had his published on there years and years and years and years ago. And he basically said, you don't, you don't know, maybe you don't really realize this yet, but this is going to help somebody. And I didn't, I hadn't really thought of that. I hadn't really thought of like what that means. And then, and then it did because in the sense of like, I gotten, then I started, I got a couple of messages from people who were like, this actually helped me understand like my own feelings. And I didn't really plan for that when I wrote it. I based it's that 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 piece on Outsports is basically two thousand five hundred words of my personal trauma for about six and a half years. But um, it's uh, no, <laughs> sorry, uh, no. But um, but but doing that and then um, it made me realize like I wanted to help someone, whatever that means. Like I'm, I'm still learning. If that's if that's talking about this, if it's writing about it, if it's any of this, I just. I want to make feeling the way I I felt, and I know some people have felt felt for so for uh, so long is terrible. I don't, yeah. I don't want that for other people. So I want to help, whatever that means. I want to help, make it better that. for other people. That's so good, and so needed. So the last question I have for you is: What gives you hope for queer people in the sport? I look at people like yourself, obviously, but then beyond people like yourself, I look at the fact that you can that you you have a hundred people doing this. I look at the yeah. fact that you have there, there's so many people who want 
who got so incensed by the by the um uh NHL. erasure of, of of actual stories by the nhl this again oh no, no you're back no uh, but uh the nhl this year i, I look at that and i realize people are getting frustrated people are getting uh, like they're, they're not happy with with the, like the the put being pushed to the background anymore and that's great because the more we push these these stories get pushed forward it helps the next generation of people who don't necessarily have the courage yet to speak their story find that there's so many people like them that makes it then that makes it easier for them so this project itself gives me a ton of hope and the and just the entire aspect of what how how people have reacted to to the nhl and, and to hockey and how and how the culture has was trying to not really do this during this month has, re, has really maybe realized maybe think that there's a lot of there's, there's progress in that regard i like it i like it richard you are uh, an incredible young person. You're going to change the world. And um, I'm so excited for you and to watch your journey through all this. And, and I can't wait to see what you do. Um, so I want to thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for using your voice and being a face and and being a part of the change because it matters i appreciate that i appreciate it. and thank you thank you for doing this but really this is i'm so excited to see this happen to see the end result of this me too i i yeah it's really cool so thank you richard